Good afternoon, everyone. This is Romona coming to you from social media how to's with Romona. Have you ever wanted to save videos that you like on YouTube in a file so you won't have to search for them when you want to watch them again later? In this video, you will learn how to create a YouTube playlist, how to make your list public or private, and where to find your playlist once you've created it. If you want to learn how to use social media more effectively and grow your business online, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you will receive a notification each time I upload a new video tutorial. Also, stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how to delete playlists so you don't end up with a million playlists like I have on my personal YouTube channel. So, let's get started. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the YouTube app on your phone. As usual, I am using my Google Pixel, so this video tutorial will be done using an Android. So just in case you do not have YouTube on your phone, we are going to first go to your Play Store. If you are using an iPhone, you will need to go to your app store to get the YouTube app, okay? So when, once you're on the Play Store or the app store, we're gonna type in YouTube. Click on YouTube. And then what you're gonna wanna do, if you don't have it on your phone already, is to install the app. Once you have YouTube installed, Go ahead and click open so that you open the app. Once you're inside of the app, click on the search icon, which is to the left of your photo or the circle where your photo belongs at the top of the screen. Go ahead and click on the search icon. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and type the name of the person's video that you're searching for or the name of the video. The reason why I'm creating this video is because I have a client who said that she wanted to save all the video tutorials that I've created into a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm creating this video for her so I'm going to go ahead and search my videos and show you how to put them into a playlist. So you click on search YouTube, you type in the name of the person or the subject. So I'm typing Romona Foster and I'm going to click search. And by the way, you'll see similar things come up. That says Ramona Foster, but that's not what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my search icon on my phone. And what you will see are my is my channel. So if you look at the top, the very one at the top is the one that we want to click on. It says Romona Foster, social media trainer. So I clicked on that, it brings me to my channel. The very next thing that you wanna do is go ahead and click on the videos tab at the top of the screen. And then because she wants to save all of my videos, my video tutorials, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select several of them just so you can see how to actually create your playlist. So you see the very first video, how to create social media images using Canva. There are three dots to the right of the name of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the three dots and then go ahead and click save to playlist so it will give you some options so it says save video to a new playlist or you can save it to watch later so I do that quite often like if I'm in the middle of my day and I am looking at a video and then I don't have time to finish it I might click on watch later and put it there and then go back and watch it later but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on New Playlist. So what this will bring you to is a new playlist dialog box. And what you want to do is you want to give the playlist a name. And because these are all going to be my videos, I'm going to do Ramona's Videos. 
And then it will give you the option, do you want to make the playlist private or public? So from time to time, there are playlists that I will make private. Um, you know, if it's just some things that I'm interested in and maybe I don't think the public is interested in or whatever. So you, you have a choice. If, if you want to go ahead and make them public, like if you're um, saving music playlists and you want to share them with other people, make them public. Um, because if you make them private, you will not be able to share the playlist with other people. If you make it unlisted, it will give you a link that you can share with people, but not everyone will be able to access it. Only the people with the link will be able to access that particular playlist. But for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on public, and then I will click create. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this with a few of these videos. Save the playlist on the second one. And as you can see, because I saved the playlist already, all I have to do this time is to click on Romona's videos and then click done. So now the second video is in there. I'm going to save a few more. And you see, I, I accidentally clicked on one that was already in there. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you what playlist this video is actually already in. So I'm gonna save that, done. And I'll just save a couple more for her and then we're done. So I, now, so the next thing is you created your playlist, now where is it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at the bottom of your screen. You see where it says home, trending, subscriptions, inbox, and library? Now, if you're on an iPhone, of course, it may be different once again, but what we wanna click on is the library. So in the library, you will see your re the recent videos that you've watched, then you see your histories, your downloads, your videos, your purchases, watch later. So if I would have put that video into the watch later section, if I clicked on watch later, it would show here. But right now I don't have any videos in, the, in my watch later. Now scroll under watch later and what you will find are your like videos, uh, the, the actual playlist that you have. So eventually you'll probably have a whole list of playlists. And then you can also create a new playlist in this section as well. So if I wanna access th that um, playlist that I just created called Ramona's Videos, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. There are six videos in there. So what happens now is when you come here, if you want to edit your playlist, you just click on the pencil and you can add a description to it. You can change the title. You can change its privacy settings from public to unlisted or private. And then you can collaborate and invite people to add videos to your playlist as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the back arrow where it says edit playlist at the top. And that takes me back to my playlist. Now, if I wanted to share this with my client, I could actually hit the arrow, the share arrow, and then I could send her a message, I could send it on Facebook, um, through Gmail, et cetera. So there are a number of different places on your phone that you can share it to. And then the next thing is to the left of the share arrow, you will see a download icon. So you can actually download videos, um, YouTube will give you that option. And I, and I do believe, I tested this before when I did a YouTube class, that if you do not have a premium YouTube account, which I do, I don't believe that download button is gonna show for you. 
um, I believe that YouTube made the uh, download option only available to YouTube premium members. So if this is not a plug, but if you want to have ad free videos and if you want to be able to download videos, you'll have to get the YouTube premium membership. Okay. And so you see the big red button where it says play. What that does is it allows you to play the very first video, but it will loop. So it'll go from the first video to the second video to the third video. This is really good. Like if you listen to like motivational um, videos and things like that, you can save a playlist with all those motivational videos and they will just loop and you can just listen to them or even with music, like some really nice classical or peaceful music, you could just allow it to play all day, however many videos that you have in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the big red play button just to show you what it looks like. So when you come in here, the video, the very first video begins to play. Now, if you notice under the video, you see it has the name of the playlist again, how many videos are there. And then to the right of that, there's a down arrow. If you click on the down arrow, you're gonna see your entire playlist. And this is where it loops to. It will play all of these videos that are in here. And if you want, you can actually click on a different video. If you don't wanna hear the first one, you click on a different one. And then that video will begin to play, okay? Um, when you click on the drop down arrow again, it will show you the video title. It will allow you to like the video, to share it, to download it again if you have YouTube Premium. And then you can also save it. Let's say you're like, oh, well, I wanna put this in a different playlist. Click on save. And then you can click on watch later or create a new playlist again, okay? So always, always, when you find videos that you like, make sure that you like them, subscribe to them, um, and click on the bell notification so that you can get the um, videos as people are posting them, okay? So I'm, I just closed that video, that's what you're hearing. So the very next thing I wanna show you is how to delete your playlists. So if you create a playlist, like I know sometimes I create a playlist and it's temporary. And then I have other playlists that are permanent for me. So it may be music that I listen to all the time, or it may be something that I may be studying and I create a playlist from it. And when I'm done with that playlist, I really should delete it but I don't have like a million playlists in my personal account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the three dots at the very top of your screen to the right. You see where it says delete playlist? I'm gonna go ahead and click delete playlist. But before I do that, I wanna say to you also, you can actually watch YouTube videos on your TV if you have a smart TV, just in case you don't know that. I think most people know that by now. I could actually send it to Roku and watch the playlist on my TV. But what we're gonna do right now is we are going to go ahead and click delete playlist. And then it will say delete playlist, question mark. You can either say cancel or you can hit delete. I'm going to hit delete. My playlist is now gone. So you'll see in the section where it says playlist, it just says add playlist and like videos. So there you have it. That's how you create a, a playlist. That's how you delete your playlist once you've created it if you no longer want it. So if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments. And once again, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And after you've done that, click on the bell to receive notifications when I post a new video tutorial. Okay, and I thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. And I want you to have an absolutely amazing day.